I have such lame passions. <laughs> Efficiency and moderation. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Brianna and I'm an editor here at Istrico Productions and I want to share my five favorite shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. When you're editing a big project for hours and hours, the less time you move your hand to the mouse and vice versa, the more time you can spend just being creative and looking at the footage. You also look really cool and you look like you can program a rocket ship to space or something and that's what's most important in this job, to look cool. Just one more quick note before we start, all my shortcuts are default mode for Adobe Premiere Pro on a Mac. If you want to create your own custom shortcuts, just go to the settings, keyboard shortcuts, and mess around with your favorites and which ones you use the most. Okay, let's get started. Right off the bat, I'm cheating and giving you two in one. Command R and G. Press Command R, that'll bring up your speed and duration of your clip. Audio gain is G, obviously, and you can raise and lower the volume without moving your hand on the mouse. Command R, how did I memorize that? I have no idea. Why did I memorize R? Tip number two, the option button. This one has saved me so much time. All you have to do is hold the option button down while you change your clip from track to track, and it will copy that clip with all of its settings. Number three tip is the trifecta, V, C, and A. I don't know what I do, but half the time my cursor changes into something crazy. So I could just press V and then I'm ready to go. I can select my clips, I can use all my other fancy shortcuts. C, cut, razor tool, and A will select all. The only thing you want to watch out for is if you have a track locked, that will not move. I've been a victim of the lock track before. My number four favorite tip is the tilde. It's a really simple key, but what it does is maximize whatever window your mouse is hovering over. Especially when you're working on a smaller screen, like a laptop, it really helps to be able to just see what you're working on in each corner of the screen. I use it when I import media to maximize that screen and make sure I'm super organized. I use it to maximize the preview screen and my timeline. Shortcut number five is just plain old F. Has this ever happened to you? You have a clip in your timeline ready to go, but you want to know what happened just before or just after the action you already selected. I place my marker over any video or audio clip, press F, and in the source window you'll see the original clip as it was taken in camera. So those are my tips. Those are my favorite time-saving shortcuts. If you have a favorite or you might try one of these, please comment down below and we'll see you next week. All right. You're welcome. More like a master Reese. Yeah. <laughs> no.